we're going to be demonstrating how to put the AGR1 on an argon tank. Now these argon tanks have a cap to protect the valve stem and everything, and these can be kind of tricky to get off. So what we do is we can use this hole and use our wrench. So this is the tool we're going to be using in order to get that argon regulator on this tank. I have a 12 inch wrench, and so this little slot can be convenient for us to put the end of it here, and I can just twist it, and that will give me enough leverage to loosen this up by hand. Exposing the parts that we're going to be in dealing with today. So, the argon regulator has a bunch of business ends going on here. So we have this end, which is going to go into our tank here. This is what's leaving the tank. And this is a pressure relief valve. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to be inserting this. And we'll notice that there's a lot of play. So what we're going to do is we're going to, by hand, Turn this until we can't anymore. And I'm supporting the weight of the regulator with my opposite hand. So once we get tight enough, that's when we're going to introduce our wrench. We're going to adjust it so that it's large enough to handle. And I'm going to support this and I'm just going to just do enough where it's nice and tight. You want it snug so that there's no leaking from here to the regulator. And because this is loose, we can angle the regulator however we please. So with this valve turned perpendicular to the flow direction, we can now turn this on. So now we can see what's going to be leaving in PSI and what we have in the tank. A full tank is going to be at 2000 PSI. And for your convenience, we have this order gas so you know that when you're getting closer to the end. Um, I would disagree with how far up this goes. I feel like you can order gas about in the middle of that gauge. This is going to be locked into place and there's a little tiny set screw on the side so if you need to adjust this for any reason, you can by loosening that up, and then we can adjust it to more or less. Now for your convenience, this little pressure gauge will release any surplus pressure that was released on the initial. This is set to the proper pressure when it comes to you. If it's not, then we can make that minor adjustment. Now, if we want to utilize this gas, we can use the supplied argon tubing and place it into here. Now that should be tight enough that it won't come out. If you do need to remove this, we're going to touch the black pieces here, bring it towards there or towards the body of the machine, and then we can pull this free. Again, pushing that up, pulling it free. Otherwise it will stay in place. Now we can use this valve and flow gas out. At any time we can close that off, but I personally like to close off the entire tank so there's no leaking whatsoever. It's up to you if you want to then bleed the line so that both lines are at zero, or you can just leave them in a pressurized state. So this is what it would look like. Uh, leaving the pressure in there is not a big deal. It's not going to harm anything. But this pressure relief valve is there if you would like to depressurize the line. So at the end of the day, close that stem. At the beginning of the day, loosen it up, and then you can start welding. If you have more questions, please let us know.